picked up to be complete. Um, so today we'll be discussing with uh, Anshu, who has been uh, on the Healthify Me platform for the last a bit more than two months. Um, Anju has been working out from home uh, using Healthify Studio workouts and she has uh, achieved about uh, six kgs weight loss in the last 2.5 months. So hi Anshu, welcome, welcome to the workshop. Hello Soumya, first of all, thanks a lot to give me opportunity to share my views or experience and it's really nice of you. The pleasure is all ours. In fact, uh, we, I mean, that's the uh, intention here. We would love to listen to you, listen to your story, listen to your journey um, and find out what really helped you in your weight loss. What really uh, are your goals actually more than just your weight loss, as well as we want to understand what, what are the routines that you follow? Is there anything special that you're doing? All of that will go through in our conversation. Um, Anshu, are you there? I think we've lost Anshu. All right. Just a second, guys. Yeah. Hey, Soumya. Yeah. So uh, I think we lost Anshu. She's just yeah, joining. She's back. A, she joined. She joined. Yeah. Just. Hey Anshu, welcome back. Uh, all good? For inconvenience, actually, I think my Wi-Fi lost. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So yeah, let's uh, start off our discussion right at the beginning. I wanted to know, um, you know, what really inspired you to get started on your journey? Was there a specific incident or a specific day where you just woke up and you were like, no, something has to change? Or did this happen over a period of time? Uh, I saw me if you asked me this question before 2020, though I said I never required any kind of healthify, I never required any kind of gymming because I was so fit uh, further. <laughs> but uh, last year I delivered a, a baby through cesarean, and that was, I think, a changing change like everything is changing point of my life. Uh, I started putting on weight. Uh, uh, like and it is it was like I was so engaged in my motherhood that I was unaware that I was using unhealthy life food everything was like uh, so distracted uh, like I'm a newly mother so I everything I was like yes my child my life is all about over that <laughs> and then after after uh, seven, eight months, I got realized once I went for clinic for uh, her vaccination and uh, just waiting machine was there and I started to uh, like, like ch let's check the weight. And it was <laughs> uh, more than 20 kg than my previous weight. So I think that uh, point stuck me like <laughs> what's going on with me? <laughs> like, uh, yes, I am a mother, but I think I'm losing uh, uh, myself. And uh, with that, uh, I feel like that my family also started to saying that, yes, you are putting weight and I think you should uh, do such kind of things. So uh, I think, uh, but I can say the turning point was that waiting machine only. When I realized, yes, I already put in 20 kg. So and that was the turning point. I decided, yes, I have to do something with my weight. I have to go for uh, like again for healthy life and everything. I have to restart it. Interesting. Very interesting. I think this must be uh, for all the mothers on uh, on the call today. This must be a familiar experience for you as well. I'm sure uh, that the journey of motherhood causes a lot of changes in your body and you would have gained some some postnatal weight, uh, you know, that might be hard to drop or you just like Anshu, you know, you might not even have realized that this has happened. Your <laughs> life has just gotten so busy. All of a sudden, your like your focus is mm -hmm. entirely on this other person yeah. that you're taking care of. So you just you are not your priority anymore. And and exactly, you know, this exactly, happens. Exactly. This, this is the thing we are like we are uh, I was like less my child and uh, she's everything to me and I forgot that I have also uh, uh, take myself also with her also but uh, I think but uh, that was that uh, I think turning point of me for losing weight very interesting uh, how old is your daughter now 
Uh, she's one year old. <laughs> oh, she's a year old. Nice, <laughs> superb. So, um, when you decided, when you went to the hospital that day and checked your weight, and you were like, "Oh my God, this is not done." Uh, what was your next step? How? What? What did you start off with, or what was the first change that you made? Uh, after that, when I went uh, back to my home, I first discussed with my husband. See, I'm like I'm putting on weight, and my husband just smiling at me. Like, hey, we know this thing. <laughs> <laughs> just you realize this thing later. Uh, we already know everything. And uh, I said, yeah, uh, like yeah, it's serious issue. <laughs> Now we have to do something. Uh, due to COVID, I was unable to do any kind of gym. And uh, so, man, let me tell you. Uh, before that, I never did any kind of of gymming or any kind of exercise uh, like uh, uh, maybe with the god grace my posture was so correct i never required such kind of things so it is also a question to me how i can lose weight uh, because i never do gymming and you do covid and my child is small how i can go outside for yoga classes so one day i was uh, and then i saw we are virtually they can do first question that arises in my mind is how they can do <laughs> it is virtually <laughs> how they can do and then uh, then i discussed with again with my husband like i saw this platform and they say they they have a huge successful things so with the, uh, them then my husband said let's do some research and uh, we look uh, uh, youtube and uh, something and we got uh, such a positive reviews from there yes we can do this thing uh, so after that i just uh, conversation with uh, someone like a representative from healthify and she also said me like the same thing yes you will realize we virtually do this thing and uh, but uh, clearly i am saying so i was like uh, my uh, in my mind i was blank how they can do <laughs> <laughs> but i just started my journey let's start i have to give a kick start to my life and that's why i just i started this journey with healthify but uh, now i am very happy with this thing yes i got all the answer how they can do with this <laughs> perfect so all your questions are answered right now <laughs> <laughs> great so basically for those of you who don't know um healthify studio is our offering uh, which is free for all of you right now for all of you who are on the app you have access to healthify studio the entire month of january uh, where we conduct workouts live so there is a coach like me conducting a workout for you demonstrating the exercises for you watching you and making sure that you're performing these exercises right motivating you correcting you all of this happens in the class and it's a great way for you to get fit just like anshu did um anshu let's get into the kind of workouts you did uh, and you know the sort of improvements that you started seeing uh, what classes do you generally do what does your workout routine like for a week uh so my uh, first day when i joined healthy fry from that day i uh, regularly i am doing only with one coach healthy fry studio coach uh, with arman uh, i think he is the only one one first day i started i asked question to him uh, this is my first day can i join <laughs> yeah 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 you can and after that i don't know uh, randomly i joined other coaches class but uh, because uh, uh, i think it is with everybody coach but uh, that suit uh, he learned the pace what i required uh, he learned that what kind of changes i required he build my strength and like uh, the conversation between him is like uh, uh, he can guide us very well like uh, posture correction within a second he said like that yes you have to correct this and uh, this is like uh, like i can feel i never feel like that i am on virtual basis i like feel like, yeah coach is uh, just uh, sit in front of me and he is just correcting me yes i have to do this i have to do this uh, and in starting i was like dragging things like uh, when i am talking about plank plank so i was like i can't do i can't do and even uh, i said to my coach also yeah i can't do this thing <laughs> and now i can hold that plank i think that is a uh, uh, strength of my coach that uh, he invests so much time over me and uh, i uh, that's why i can say uh, coaches are best here and uh, 
I learned a lot from them. Uh, the session of 45 minutes, that too makes me like uh, very active and very energetic. And with that also, Soumya, uh, uh, thing has changed with the, because I'm a premium membership. Uh, I got premium membership of Healthify. So I got a dietitian and my fitness coach also. So besides studio, uh, with that dietitian, she is very cooperative to me. She was like, first she called me and uh, she said, Anshu, tell me your routine. What kind of uh, food are you a vegetarian or non-vegetarian? And uh, what is your time uh, when you have Having, when you are having food so whatever I said to her she planned according to that like uh, morning if morning if I am taking breakfast at 11 o'clock she meet according to that just the things are changed and I said I'm a tea lover I can't uh, survive without tea so she also put a uh, space for my tea also <laughs> so that is uh, same with the fitness coach he talked to me and he said how much time you can invest I said uh, that uh, almost one hour I can invest because uh, one hour I'm investing in other studio access so he just plan according to that also so in that way I I think uh, the coaches are best I like which I experienced that is best uh, and maybe I'm lucky <laughs> That's so great to hear, Anshu. I'm I'm so glad uh, that you have a good support system, somebody that you can go to to ask your questions, somebody who can give you the right plan to follow, uh, depending on your routine, depending on what you are used to, depending on what your lifestyle is, to fine-tune it to suit that is where, uh, you know, the importance of a coach lies, actually. I mean, it, today in in this day of information you can just go online and look up solutions for most of your problems but for you to have you know some sort of guidance for you to get to where you want you need to approach a professional and i guess that's what uh, you know having that's what is the value of having a diet coach a fitness coach somebody that you can talk to and get feedback from especially based on what you are doing whether you're doing it right or wrong yes yes exactly so yeah, exactly i required that and i got that that is the like uh, uh, even uh, within uh, i discussed this thing with my family also then i said like yes i got best coaches and they are like they are also in the same stuck position that how you can do this thing then i explained yes i am doing this and this is like a great it worked like great amazing that's so nice to hear i hope that your family is also getting inspired by looking at you and they're also making some changes in their lifestyle yes exactly exactly uh when uh, after uh Soumya, i think 10 to 15 days i what uh like uh, i can see my progress i can see my progress like uh, yes i'm losing weight my everybody is like uh, my husband my mother-in-law my mother she uh, uh she my mother is a, a lady who hardly compliment a person and she started complimenting me <laughs> Yes, you are losing. Yes, you got it. Uh, so, and she started to say, my bhai also. Yes, you should also join and do something with your body. <laughs> so, Superb. Yeah, uh, these things, I think uh, that is the best part. I just, I hear that from my mother. That was the best part. <laughs> That's so nice to hear. Uh, I mean, of course, this is not an easy journey to make. You know, there are a lot of compromises that come with trying to live a healthier lifestyle. You just you have to cut back on so many of your desires. So many of your choices have to become, you know, different. And to have a family that supports you in that journey is also equally important. Uh, you know, that that is probably maybe 20 percent of the battle won if you have a supportive family that's encouraging and motivating you along your journey. Yes, yes, exactly, Soumya. Uh, actually, I'm a lactating mother to uh, everybody, like uh, from my mother-in-law. This is the question arises. If you are doing dieting and all these things, that may be like a daughter will suffer with the, the lactation. Uh, to, that is, uh, I also got this question with my dietitian that I'm a lactating mother. I can't, uh, like, I can't uh, control, like, uh, huge calories. Like, I can't, like, if you said me, like, you have to eat only 600 to 700 calories. I can't go through that. I can't skip uh, my milk. Uh, many things I can't skip because I'm a lactating mother. So as per my, uh, like whatever I required, my dietitian give me that plan. And moreover that my family support me a lot. 
because uh, this is like i'm blessed with uh, my family my mother in law and my husband they are like so uh, cooperative while i was doing the uh, workout they keep my child and my child was uh, just about to next to door and she said mamma mamma and they are just engaging <laughs> she is oh. just very close to me and uh, just uh, just because i'm blessed with this family i got uh, such a trem- tremendous results that's so wonderful to hear um what was your first interaction with your coaches like uh, of course you mentioned that when you spoke to your dad coach you told her about your routine etc um what was your what had you told them what were you working on uh, were there any specific goals that you had mentioned to them uh goal uh, when i first uh, conversation when i did one first conversation with my fitness coach uh he asked me one question and so what do you want do you want to just lose your weight or just you want to live healthy life like a uh, question is quite tricky but uh, <laughs> at, that, at that time i was like i want to concentrate on my losing my weight that was the main concentration of mine yes i want to lose my weight because uh, like everything my whole wardrobe is like uh, totally unfit to me and i have to purchase lots of things so i think first my concentration was there uh, then he said no the goal is not about like this that we are going to lose just weight that uh, we will do this thing but with healthy way and he said me one thing that if you are if you losing inches that mean it is healthier and if you only lose weight so that mean in like it's a unhealthy way the way uh, he told me is like in this, this way he told me but um, i lost inches that is uh, uh, like i feel like yes i am doing healthy and after one month when i just rechecked my weight and i lost to uh, almost 3 kg in one uh, first month i lost 3 kg and i asked to my coaches uh, like is it like healthier or like i am doing something very harsh to my body how is it is possible like uh, within a month i can lose 3 kg it is like uh, a miracle to me how, how? <laughs> so the, that is uh, the first conversation they said now it's totally up to body to body and everything that in that way it was absolutely that's absolutely right um, especially in the first few months your i mean first few weeks your body is going through a lot of changes because you've changed the diet you've changed your workout your routine has changed so you will you may lose some water weight really quickly your bloating might reduce um all of that might look like the initial quick weight loss that you see um i guess also what your coach said was absolutely right everybody's body is different so uh, for me personally when i was on my own weight loss journey i started with running i uh, i would just get up and go out for runs almost on a daily basis and for the first maybe 4 months i didn't see any weight loss or i mean i was definitely noticing an improvement in my stamina and my runs were getting better but be, besides that there was nothing much happening to me physically um and and then i realized that i had to also change my diet if i'm just going to work out but keep eating rubbish it's not going to make any difference i'm going to continue to be um you know unfit or i'm not going to see any weight loss and then i made some changes in my diet and then the magic started happening <laughs> yeah, exactly exactly same thing uh, with som uh, same thing with me somya like uh, i started a workout and my coach said me that you have to complete 10000 steps uh, and water uh, water was like water intake was like main thing i got uh, from my even healthify studio coach and plus my uh, fitness coach they mainly said this thing and i uh, remember one thing of my healthify arman uh, that uh, he was my coach uh, during the session uh, he said you have to eat veggie not veggie uh, pizza <laughs> so <laughs> that, that is the thing yes i have to eat veggies not veggie pizza so otherwise it will like equal it hardly matter how you hard you tried so uh, uh, sometime i think we can say a uh, quick uh, uh, small thing small sentence can stick our mind yes we can do, like uh, yes it can hurt us so a uh, quick statements of these also motivate me yes i can do this thing absolutely um, you know it's not just about what you're eating but also in what form you're eating it just because jaggery is good doesn't mean you can eat 10 spoons of jaggery a day right 
so how you consume how much you consume all of that is equally important as what you consume um all right now that you spoke about arman i have a uh, we have a small surprise for you we have arman here on call with us <laughs> arman tell us hi 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 somya hello anshu hello everyone hope you're doing well all good here hope you are doing well too i'm doing great thank you so much so arman tell us a little bit about what anshu was like to coach uh, was she a tough student did you have to like <laughs> stay on her to get her to work or was she easy to coach uh not as much she was not a tough uh, uh, person to coach she was pretty coachable the thing is somya um the first day when i saw her and uh, the first time she worked out with me obviously it was a first class in studio and uh, before that she had never done uh, quite a lot of significant workout as such so uh, i told her that go easy and one or two days it will take me uh, to understand how your body moves after that i can give you a little more personalized attention even if uh, it is a group setting that's what i do with uh, everyone who joins in that's what everyone does uh, here in studio right so um what i figured out is that uh, since she has not been training as much um the body has not picked up exercise patterns yet like for example a squat Movement pattern patterns. or a hip yeah. hip hinge pattern the movement patterns the body has not developed technically speaking so uh, i figured out that i have to cut intensity really down for her so that she can lower down the movement speed even though if it is an hiit workout session mm-hmm. so that she her, her body is in a constant cognitive uh, mode trying to understand and process the movement and um, the thing is she she was more of a visual learner she did not respond very well to my audio cues, cues. Uh, in the beginning yeah so she she had to see see it to understand it which is fine uh, so i took that approach and now she, since she has been consistent and in the beginning uh, something like a squat she was facing quite a lot of difficulty in standing back up uh, uh, from a seated position and uh, we started off progressively by slowing the movement pattern down she was very into that i want to do it fast i want to do it fast i said slow down slow down it'll take time it'll come don't worry uh we started off from a chair and now she can squat without a chair also so she has been progressing well it's just that she's been consistent so that's that's on her part um something that she she shows up consistently i really appreciate that that's great to hear i always believe that uh, motivation is a big sham you have to build exactly. habits you have to build discipline uh, and build consistency that is what is going to take you through anshu how has arman been as a coach to you <laughs> uh i think it's a tough nut <laughs> difficult to crack <laughs> you have to he will make you work yes yeah he's like uh, uh, no need to impress me with speed just do focus on your posture we are like oh like again we are did wrong i was like this oh again i did wrong <laughs> then again i rectify that uh, uh, most important thing about uh, arman is that he quick just a second in a second like uh, anshu you did this uh, like uh, within a second uh, like itne sare log hote hain lots of people are uh, during that session but within a second uh, sometime i i am quite assume how he know that i was wrong in this step how i but how he can know that i was wrong just in this step also so he was like uh, quick to rectify me that is the only thing that uh, uh, a main attraction toward that coach that yes i can understand i can learn and i can uh, do better this is and this is also a factor uh, in starting i was like dragging i can't do and within uh, to i asked uh, i remember i asked uh, one question to my coach that is it any time like that once i did my workout or next day i didn't feel any kind of pain <laughs> so it was like it was like in that time ki like every time in morning i was like yes i have pain in uh, my thighs yes i did have pain in that <laughs> but uh, now we like i did it found a rhythm yes 
very nice very nice um before we proceed guys uh, we're going to be opening up the chat in in uh, right now uh, so please shoot your questions whatever questions you have for anshu um whatever questions you have for the panel here you can shoot your questions to us um before uh, moving on to the next bit i also want to mention uh, that you arman's classes are available on healthify studio you can access them almost on a daily basis i think except for i forget thursday. which day he doesn't cheat ha huh. except for thursday so friday to wednesday you have arman's classes at 11:30 am and 12:30 pm these are 45 minute sessions so please join them if you haven't you will get an experience of everything that anshu has told you um workouts will be customized for your um uh, requirements once arman understands you just like he mentioned uh, you get uh, a full body workout throughout the week uh, with set uh, with separate focus on different days um and of course you get to sweat as part of a group um as part of a community that has been working out with uh, our coaches live on a daily basis um uh, thank you Sonia, so much yeah uh, tell me Arman. yeah before before we go ahead with the questions um, i would just like to uh, highlight one thing that that uh, was my thought process when anchu um came into my classes so obviously um we have this interaction one line or two liner after uh, after the class ends so she told me that uh, she delivered um, a child recently and she is a lactating mother so obviously the thought process was um, to first build pelvic strength that is what needs work after you deliver a baby that is this that is the area which gets compromised so uh, whenever there was a core kind of a workout and in usual days also i keep a bit of core every day so i used to make sure that she is focusing more on that and used to tell her that this exercise will benefit you the most because we are trying to build core and pelvic strength here um and for the exercises which needed high intensity and brisk speeds i told her this is where you need to slow down let's still work on the core strength let everything come together only then we'll add movements velocities and speeds so um trying to have that nudge and then connecting that with what the person requires and just giving them an one liner that okay this is where you need to work on this is what it will benefit you out of um and that that really uh, you know um, plays the part is uh, is not just me but in all all the classes that we take through that is that is one highlight that i would like to bring about Yes. Absolutely. Uh, so, guys, if you've been wondering how in a group class am I going to get individual attention, there's your answer. Um, we, our coaches are super skilled, uh, highly experienced, um, certified professionals who've been doing this, who've been conducting classes for a while now. They're experts in what they do. So, you have free access, like I mentioned earlier. Just open up your app and book a studio session and join your class soon. uh hopefully you will see arman on there and arman will see you thank you so much for joining us arman um it was great speaking to you and understanding uh from your side what it is like to coach somebody who is an absolute beginner i hope anshu had a good surprise uh, on the call <laughs> yeah thank you thanks for having me thank you Cheers. thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much take care All right. So now I'm going to start shooting some questions to you, Anshu. Um, there is a uh, question that comes very often. Um, it says, "How are you able to maintain consistency in your workouts? What do you do to avoid boredom? What do you do to stay motivated every day? What encourages you to get up and tie your laces?" yeah um this question <laughs> i can answer this question that i have a supportive family and uh, more over that uh, due to covid situation the work is start from home i am also a teacher so every i am also doing a working person so i have to do all, all the things from home so i maintain those things the i got always always i will took time like 45 minute i will take from that to amount uh, yes i have to take 45 minutes for the session and for the morning sessions i get up early in the morning so i can do my fitness coach uh, what ever he gave me the workout i did that and dietitian is like uh, uh, you can follow diet easily like uh, once you started to do this thing i think you can do it if i can do it i'm a very chubby person i like to eat 
a lot. Uh, but uh, if I can do, I think anybody can do. Isn't it? It, it's after one week, you feel like that, oh, this is so boring and like uh, how we can change our lifestyle. But after one week, is it like that, how we can live that lifestyle? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> completely agree with you on that Anshu I mean once you start realizing I mean once you start understanding how much better you feel when you eat a bit healthy and when you just take care of yourself a bit uh, compared to when you don't you start wondering what was I doing till now you know why did I not do this before what took me so long yes. It was like that. It is uh, two way beneficial, Soumya. Like uh, I'm, I was losing my weight. Plus, I got a compliment from my family. Yes, you are like uh, losing your weight. Plus, you build your strength also. Uh, like uh, you are not like feel like that. Uh, you are lethargic, and you are like nowadays very active, and like you build a lot of strength. That I got compliment from my family also. Like uh, this is like a great thing to me. Yes, just not. Not I'm losing the weight. Just I also get my strength back. That is like a wonderful thing I've like experienced. Amazing. That's the, uh, you know, that's the thing with um, ensuring that your weight loss program is not just about a diet, but it also incorporates workouts because your goal should not, not be just weight loss. Your goal should be to get fitter, to get more active, to get more energetic, to just be able to live your life us in a better way you know to not have these issues that you mentioned lethargy and all of that um so as long as your uh, plan includes a workout includes some cardio includes some strength includes a good diet you're covering all your bases of course there are a couple more things that you also need to take care of sleeping enough is as important um making sure that you drink enough water like anshu mentioned earlier that that was something that she learned when she started Making that initial change will also take you a long way in your health and in, in how you feel throughout the day. Yes. Am I right? And once you, Soumya, once you started like having the uh, 10 to 12 glasses of water and uh, if you like, it is like uh, uh, our uh, body self do the reminder. Like uh, in the morning, it's like uh, you have to drink the water. You know, never need any kind of reminder. Yes, I have to drink water. Like you self feel like that. Yes, I need a glass of water. And it is like uh, I, we started from 10 to 12 glasses, but it may exceed till 15. And this is like uh, what uh, I experienced this thing yes i sometime i did like uh, 13 14 glasses and it was not like uh, uh, i forced myself ki, yes i have to drink water no it was like uh, just uh, my body need yes i have to drink water absolutely once you um, build a habit out of it you once your body also starts getting tuned to these habits these things ha kind of uh, become automated you know they your body starts giving you these signals as and when uh, this activity needs to happen um, so everything kind of starts falling into place moving on to the next question um uh, this person says my bmi is 30 plus uh, would arman session be something i can join in i just joined health 5 15 days back um to my experience, yes, <laughs> because all our classes are accessible to everybody. There are some classes uh, which are marked intermediate, which I would not recommend for you, but most of our classes are marked open for beginners. So irrespective of your BMI, if you're starting out on your fitness journey, you can join these classes, just like Arman mentioned when he was here. And even Anshu's experience has been that. Anshu has never been to a gym or never worked out before. Uh, but starting as a beginner, you, you can access these workouts. You can speak to your coaches. Even though you're a beginner, you will be able to start on a plan, start with a plan and move towards your fitness journey as you improve in strength, as you improve in stamina. Um, Anshu, am I right? Is there something you would like to add to that? Uh, no, exactly, Soumya. That is totally right. That's totally, I totally agree with you. No words. Arman session is definitely something that you can join. Um, 11.30 and 12.30... Uh, 11.30 a.m. 12.30 afternoon every day. Um, just join the class a couple of minutes early and let Arman know that you're a beginner so that he can 
tell you what options to choose during your workout or whichever coach or whichever session you are joining this applies to all healthify healthify studio coaches so when you book a class if you're a beginner if you're starting your workout that day uh, just join a couple of minutes early and inform your coach they will tell you what to do if there is a very intense exercise they will give you a slightly not so intense option or if you're not a beginner uh, or even if it's just your first day just let them know where you stand what your level is so that they can coach you accordingly in a couple of days they will understand your stamina they will understand your weak and strong points and they will start to coach you in a lot more personalized manner but it would be great to get that information from you on the, whether this is your first class or whether you're a beginner before yes, you start. and it is like just i want to add something uh when you any like anybody from anybody's coach when you join the class they asked you first thing like like I, are you a beginner or how much long you did a workout and what kind of workout like if you joined a yoga session they will ask either you did yoga or not either if you are doing hit session they will ask this question okay, either you are a beginner to like this is like uh uh plus thing we got from coaches like they understand this first try to understand me and uh, although i want to add this thing uh, when they are doing exercise they give us uh, uh, like for a second they give us for a trial like uh, you do and i will observe and after that they will suggest us like you do uh, the easier version or you can do the tough version whatever like convenient to your body they can suggest to us for that also so that is like a great thing wonderful um so just join these classes guys don't uh, don't think too much just open your app book a free class and join today Thank all right you. next question <laughs> i'm i'm going back to my coach uh, behavior and forcing everybody to start working out today um <laughs> somebody asks is cardio or running necessary for weight loss or can we weigh, lose weight by doing regular exercise on a daily basis and sure what do you say yes i think uh, it is required uh, like uh, i don't think we like uh, we can say cardio is required like i think the exercises are required and uh, uh, in my scenario i need a person who can look after me and i think in any everybody's scenario it is like that because we are so engaged with uh, our families and uh, our near dears that uh, we are like uh, totally forgot that we have our own life and uh, that we already forgot ki that we have to live it very healthy uh, so i think we required a person who can look after us well we who got uh, who can ask hey, where are you why you didn't do two days workout why is it so and if you have any kind of uh, uh, problem like if I, i i was suffered from covid to so my coaches suggested me what you can do what kind of uh, they uh, my dietitian uh, sent me a card that you can do uh, <laughs> drink it so these kind of support we required and these kind of affection that to uh, uh, me personally me attached to health if i more to anything else <laughs> so so nice to hear it's amazing that you know uh, just getting on a health and fitness journey has also given you somebody to lean on someone who you can fall back on for a little bit of support that's that's really wonderful to hear that uh, that's also a great way to form a community uh, you know where you're meeting like minded people who are working on similar goals or who are on their own fitness journey it's it's just nice to know that there are other people going through the same things that you are it feels a lot more easier to conquer if you feel like there's somebody else doing it with you yes exactly so we paid uh, like uh, we can pay for anywhere like we will pay for gym we will pay for yoga classes but uh, uh, that support i think uh, like it is my the first platform i tried and i got best i think see i can say that <laughs> we're so happy to hear that coming from somebody who has used the platform themselves and who's seen these changes themselves i'm sure everybody sees uh, the value that you're talking about that your coaches have provided you uh, guys i think nirmala has asked me how what membership do you need to take to access healthify studio till um, till mid feb for another 3 weeks we are keeping healthify studio free because there is omicron going on gyms are closed we want you guys to continue working out so just install healthify me app uh, and go to healthify studio on the app you will be able to book a class and you will get the zoom link on the app or in an sms you can join that and and work out on a daily basis 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन oh yeah uh, to this question is cardio necessary for weight loss or can we lose weight by doing regular exercise on a daily basis uh, my answer is yes cardio is important but don't do only cardio you need to combine cardio with some amount of strength training with some amount of flexibility training basically your body requires multiple uh, your physical needs are diverse right it's not just about being able to run 10 kilometers you should also be able to walk three flights of stairs you should also be able to sit down on the floor and get up comfortably or sit down on your toilet and get up comfortably like these are day to day activities you need to be functional for so regular exercise will not just help you burn calories and lose weight but it will also help you with these things so include cardio include strength training include flexibility training all of this will definitely contribute to your weight loss but yes cardio is running may not be necessary you can do different types of cardio you can do hiit you can do at your home you can do cardio just join us on a studio workout you can go out for a run you can go out for a walk there are you can swim you can cycle lot of ways to do cardio to include cardio in your routine okay um anshu uh, somebody has asked if there was any medical condition that you needed to take care of during your journey uh, like blood pressure diabetes any of that uh, no i was like uh, uh, when i started this journey i was just i was in stage of starting of pcod i was in starting of that stage only but my gynae suggest me that uh, just uh, you have what you have to do either you have to lose your weight or what you can do you are we are uh, i started to give you tablets so i choose my option that i will lose weight i am not going to have any kind of tablet and <laughs> that is uh, rest of that i i know never have any kind of problem like uh, diabetes bp no i don't have any kind of problem with god bless yes touch wood uh pcos i'm glad that you were able to keep it under control before it got worse um i guess the solution to treating pcos is also to start working out and to start eating a healthier diet just to follow a healthy lifestyle in general to not uh you know do too many unhealthy things in a day is is something that will help you with pcos um how much water should be consumed during workouts i guess anywhere up to 500 m 500 ml is okay make sure that you're having small sips of water don't drink a lot of water you will feel a little uneasy um if there is a lot of water you might feel like cramping uh, so small sips um every maybe 10 minutes or 8 minutes or as you need um, should be okay what will be the best time gap for workout before and after consuming meals mm 90 minutes to 2 hours would be great uh, a great window between your workout and your meal before or after um does anshu do any weight training no i think i started uh, i said that uh, before health if i never did any kind of gymming i can i say that uh, i said this thing yes with the god grace i never required such thing i was fully shaped body i ha- i had fully shaped body but after delivering my baby that i faced this problem right so anshu has been doing home workouts um with us um with her coaches uh for the last few months um do you use dumbbells at home do you use any weights at home for your workouts yes 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 uh, i use a uh, 5 kg dumbbell <laughs> and yeah. i think uh, i remember this thing somya i have a, a one two session with you also uh, when anwan was on leave and uh, you you just oh, <laughs> i got it i got it somya uh, and just you trained me how well we can you do that exercise shoulder press exercise that was uh, i remember this thing now yes wow <laughs> <laughs> I have five kg dumbbell, and uh, our coaches told uh, tell us very well that how we can use it. Like we are, our body is like compatible for five uh, kg or not. And uh, here is example with Somya. Uh, she tell me this thing. I think uh, Arman didn't, but uh, Somya tell me this thing that, <laughs> that, that how I can because that that was my first time when I'm using dumbbell, and uh, you tell me very well, very well. Uh, Wonderful! I'm so glad that you were. did my class also guys i also teach at <laughs> health <laughs> by studio <laughs> actually, uh, uh, 
<laughs> when Anwar was on our leave, that on that time uh, I did that classes. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I also conduct daily classes at twelve in the afternoon, thirty minute sessions. So if you guys are short on time and you want to get a quick workout, please join my class. I will probably see you there after today's session. Moving on to the next question. Um, I'm sure somebody has asked, uh, is it okay to follow routine for exercise and diet for five days and be free for two days on the weekends? What is your opinion? I did cheat days. I like, <laughs> it is like, we are not like a person. I actually, I felt like that I'm a human. I'm not a robot. I can't like uh, blindly follow everything. Sometimes like when samosas are at home, so I can take that, but the quantity is less. I uh, I can mention this thing like uh, I if I am having that is that was that is half so I can uh, minimize the quantity but I can't say ki this I resist no I will not have uh, this kind I can uh, cheat days but uh, I think once a week I did this absolutely I agree with Anshu um, I also cheat once a week uh, but. Uh, what are you doing on those two days? Whoever has asked me this question on those two days in the weekend, are you eating ice cream and biryani and chaat and samosa and kachori? If you're doing all of this, then it's definitely <laughs> not going to work for you. Whatever you cheat also, you have to do it in moderation. Like you have to do it a little bit. Otherwise, all of the effort that you put in the entire week will go for a waste and you will just not see any changes and you will get demotivated. Speak to your dietitian. That is the answer to your question. Don't do these random things. It is okay to work out for five days a week. That is a good enough number. But what workouts are you doing are also equally important. So speak to your workout coach as well. Next question. Mm. Um, uh, what membership do we need to take to get access to Healthify Studio? You don't need a membership. You just need to install Healthify Me app. It's free till mid-February. It was free till end of Jan, but we decided to extend it. So just install the app, open it, book a class, join us on Zoom. That's all there is to it. Um, in your session, I heard that it is easy to lose two to three kgs of weight in the span of one month. But my journey, I'm losing one kg in a span of one to two months. What is wrong in my case as I'm following diet plus workout? My answer to this is not everybody sees that two to three kg weight loss in one month. Uh, Anshu probably saw that because her bloating reduced, probably saw that because her water retention went away. She was just lose, burning fat quickly because she was doing two types of workouts. There are a lot of things happening in Anshu's journey. That may not be the case with you. Uh, you may be slightly older than Anshu. Your body type may be different than Anshu. Your diet may be completely different than Anshu. Your requirements might be different than Anshu. And just how you respond to diets and workouts might be different. So nobody responds the same way. Even when I mentioned that for four months, I didn't see any results. Later, when I changed my diet, the results started happening. I was losing one kg a month or one and a half kgs a month it took me an entire year to lose about 11 kgs so take your time it's okay if it is slow just stay consistent stay uh, regular with your workouts follow a healthy diet the results will happen just stick to the journey is what i would say anshu what about you do you have um, an opinion on this Yes, exactly, Soumya. Uh, I did two type of workout. Once uh, one given by the fitness coach that was like quite uh, easier to me. And what I did during the session that uh, that quite tough to me. Like uh, during a month session, it was like forty five minute. I was like, pani oh, oh, <laughs> And but uh, whatever the fitness coach gave me, that is like a very light to me. And uh, like. I think that is the only thing, uh, like uh, once you are doing, uh, building the strength and once you are losing your weight, plus uh, I did, uh, I blindly follow everything. I can say that like, uh, uh, I'm like, I'm a kind of uh, person, ki my, whatever my course said, I followed that blindly. Like I completed 10,000 steps. I uh, took water, I water intake was like uh, 10 to 12 glasses. My, I, 
hardly missed my sessions hardly missed but like if i have i was i was ill that is another thing otherwise i hardly miss any session i what if i will like uh, i'm a lactating mother my child is very small what i did i, I just hold my daughter and just roam here and there like for a half an hour for 45 minutes because uh, it is not easy to us being a working woman plus a homemaker we it is it is never easy to us like we can engage everything like we have special time you yeah this is our evening walk yes this of time that like we are going to make something for our special but once you enter in the kitchen like uh, once my husband said like oh you are in kitchen do this thing my mother-in-law you do this thing so we have lots of things in our mind we don't have that specific time for our so we have to like um, steal from our daily routine that is so i think i did it well i like i'm very proud that i'm doing this uh i can say this um, i can say this yes i blindly follow this thing and i proudly uh, lost my weight and i i think i deserve that absolutely you have you should be proud of all the effort that you've put in and the great results that are following it it takes a lot of work i know i have been there myself it is not an easy journey to make so uh just making those compromises every day to eat healthy to focus on yourself to take care of yourself is is something that everybody needs to do and if you've taken that step i'm i'm really proud of you keep going on that journey guys we'll take another three or four questions uh and wrap it up after that somebody has asked um is it okay to take a break of doing yoga and workouts during my periods for three to four days Personally, if you ask me, unless there is too much pain or unless you're extremely tired, I would say please work out because when you work out, your firstly, your body releases something called endorphins, which helps you with the pain. It hel helps you improve your mood because during periods, usually we have a lousy mood uh, because of all the hormonal changes. It just elevates your uh, day a bit. So I would say please work out during your periods. If you're extremely tired uh, or if you're not in the mood for something intense, at least go for a long walk. Keep yourself active. Don't become sedentary is what I would say anshu what is your take on this same same opinion so i did that like uh, while i was on my periods i never quit my workout or any kind of like sessions never and it will, i think that will help me like uh, uh, no more mood swings uh, less irritation i think that uh, is the result i got absolutely absolutely agree with that just in general even uh, on a uh, day when you're not on your period just finishing a workout just immediately you feel slightly better your mood slightly improves so uh, that that same effect happens to you even during your period so take advantage of that and please continue working out on your period uh, next question um, this is uh, Anshu. I think the, this question you have a lot of experience in, so you sh you will be able to speak about this. Somebody has asked Anshu, how did you manage your motivation when for some days you don't see results? It happens once when we are sick or maybe occupied with our job, we tend to lose momentum. Please enlighten here. I think you had an experience with COVID, right? Yes, I have experienced during COVID and almost uh, 10 to 12 days, I was like, uh, it was like a bad time to me. Uh, I was unable to do workout because uh, uh, my body didn't allow me to do that. Uh, I have a uh, sore pain in uh, muscles and uh, it was, it was bad time to me. And uh, what motivate me that, uh, that my family and and myself also like uh, i personally thought like that if i stop my journey here then what about my healthy life like i if i have to be healthy for everybody for me also for everybody also like uh, whom is so important to me like my daughter my husband they are so important to me i have to be healthy for them also yes i am healthy because after that i can do anything for them also that motivate me that my workplace i'm a teacher i need to be recover because my students are waiting for me yes ma'am will come and uh, they, uh, we will start the chapters and everything syllabus was 
so lots of thing in my life my work uh, my family and self motivation so i started uh, like uh, once i feel like quite little bit well i joined a session and uh, day before yesterday i joined a session and after that again i feel so muscle so i uh, took rest for two days and i will try tomorrow i will again join the session <laughs> So. amazing yes i agree with you anshu even for me uh, you, this happens where human some things will interrupt our lifestyle you know you may not be able to work out for a while for whatever reason uh, i think if you're finding it really difficult to restart get back to your routine get back to your momentum just start with small changes maybe start with 30 minutes for one week go for the entire week it's okay if you're just going for a walk just start just go out and walk at a normal pace for 30 minutes it is a start do that for one week the next week do 30 minutes of walk plus 10 minutes of some exercises some movements in your home uh using your own body weight you can do some squats some push ups some planks some basic exercises then do one week of that then the next week add another 10 minutes so just every week adding 10 10 minutes by the end of a month you have a one hour workout right that's it that's all it takes for you to stay healthy so start small build up from there slowly you will be able to regain your momentum and before you realize it you will be back in that place of how did i ever stop working out you'll get back there <laughs> next question um for flabby muscles what type of workouts help in gaining good muscle mass strength workouts you need to do here uh, basically strength workouts are movements that focus on specific muscle groups um if you're looking to tone your arms you need to do some workouts that will strengthen these muscles basically stuff like push ups uh, bicep curls shoulder workouts all of these will help you tone your arms if you're looking to tone your thighs um the stuff like squats etc will help but truth we told cardio uh, burns also burns a lot of fat except that cardio will burn fat from all over your body uh, these strengthening exercises will help you tone those specific areas so that's how it goes so start doing a combination of both cardio and strength and you'll see uh, your fat percentage going down because of which your flabby areas will also start looking more shaped more toned less flabby um unsure unsure what is your experience in this yes i agree with this thing i did uh, with these kind of strength and workout that is uh, that is really important i think uh, once you did the cardio that is uh, Uh, like that uh, that has another space in your uh, workout but i think strength is really important once you built a strength to do something that is uh, like uh, a move forward or a step forward toward the cardio what i personally experienced absolutely true that's 100% right um guys we'll take one more question uh, and then close for the day the last question is um i'm losing weight uh, quite slowly but there is not much inch loss is it healthy weight that i'm losing uh, i'm in the starting of my journey i had inch loss but in the last 3 4 months no inch loss are happening what to do um according to me it looks like you're on a plateau uh, so speak to your coach and understand if you need to change your workout routine a bit or if you need to ch- make some changes in your diet um just shock your body a little wake it up uh, and remind it to start doing what it was doing um you it seems like you're on a plateau um and should do you have any suggestions uh, for this is there anything that you have experienced yes i had uh, same due to uh, in covid i experienced this thing uh, this time i totally just uh, not even losing a single inch and not even a weight nothing but we had it's not like that we should be motivate ourselves no, we can't do i think it's time to again a kick start to give a again a kick start to ourselves yes we can do it this is just a, a little bit thing in our life we post i be, being a woman i think we have we faced lots of things so this is the very minor thing we can do it <laughs> yes i agree <laughs> this is we can do it guys we've got this you don't have to worry about it much um okay i see that uh, the same person who spoke about weight loss and inch loss says that there is weight loss but there is no inch loss 
so maybe you're not losing enough fat maybe that's why there is no inch loss um, maybe you have to do a little bit more strength training uh, you have to include some more strength movements in your routine to see some more inch loss again speak to your coach uh, you might need some changes in your routine some modifications in your exercises and you should be able to see this inch loss again uh, make sure that you're following a good diet and drinking a lot of water, eating a lot of fiber. All of this contributes. Thank you so much, Anshu, for joining me today and discussing in detail in so much depth about your journey, about how your interaction with the coaches was, about what your experience has been on Healthify Me. Uh, it was wonderful to speak to you. It It's reminding me, maybe not entirely, but I relate uh, to an extent to your journey of weight loss um, uh, because of not just forgetting about taking care of yourself. And I'm sure that a lot of people on our call who are mothers who have gone through this journey relate to you as well. Any last bits of advice for everyone? Just believe in yourself. I think that will help you in anything that can help you everything i say Just absolutely that is yes be your own cheerleader you know you can uh, you got this if you take a step backward so a whole family or everybody is ready to take you back <laughs> it's very rare cases you have that someone going to push you yes you can do we will give you uh, three hours you can do exercise it's very rare uh, like uh, nobody is uh, I can't say ki, like uh, in one percent families are like that. They can push you forward. Yes, we are giving you three to four hours. You can do whatever you want. So we have to take steps ourselves. That is required. Absolutely, absolutely. So guys, if you are sitting uh, at home and you are wondering. Should I start now? Hmm, maybe I don't have the time. Hmm, it's very difficult. Stop finding excuses. If you don't have time, we have 30 minute classes on Healthify Studio. If you have time for a one hour session, that's great. Please join us. Speak to your coaches, get the right sort of guidance and I'm sure your results will follow. Um, hopefully you all got uh, to learn something in today's workout. Uh, today's workshop. I hope you have a good rest of your evening and a good rest of your weekend. Same to you, Anshu. I hope you have a good Sunday evening uh, and a good next week. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much, Soumya. It's a great pleasure to talk to you. It's a and, and great experience to share whatever what I felt what during my journey. That is very great. Thank you so much to give me this opportunity. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> bye bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. You too. Bye. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.